Hello everyone, the name is Nico, but you can call me the Battle of Prince. And in this video is basically I wanna like showcase to you guys the uh the new update of the X Ray. Well as of I'm recording this, it came out today a few hours ago. So it's mainly made a, a a giant modification of the overlay. So you can this is everything ticked off. I Okay, so that is basically the options are video FPS, record FPS, rounded to integer, which is basically showing off all of the little details in the FPS are just keeping it like the state of it's 30. Recording status, which, you know, it, that, that little circle means that it's recording right now. Video length, which I find pretty awesome. You can see how long you're recording for. And of course, there's the file size, which this is getting pretty big already. Not even a minute yet. Oh my gosh. The bit rate, which I find very useful. I've been testing it out today to see which which codex would give me um, like a stable, you know, like keep it in the performance. I'm just talking nonsense right now. Screenshot status, that's not important. Bottleneck warning is very good. It showed up just now. It was like GPU. So if your hard drive is, is causing you dips, it would tell you. Like, it's just amazing. GPU again. Is that GPU or CPU? See, yeah, right now it says storage. The battle oh, great. I, I totally forgot to... Okay, good. I, f I thought I forgot to include the overlay. Okay, because I... Okay. So, I'm just using Naruto as a test because... Um, well, I don't see why not. As you can see, the frame rate is stable. I will... Hold on. I will let it show... Like, not round to integer, so you'll see the FPS of the game. And right now, I am using the... Ow! I am using the... Dude! Right, I'm using the DX Story Codec to make this video. And that's why it's it's a medium. And the bitrate is 93.31 and it's just staying at that, like, so constant. No, calm your face. Okay, I'm wondering if I should just try another codec so you can see the difference. As you can see, I've been recording for... I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. I've been recording for two minutes and some, and... It's already like it's right. It's not going 13 gigs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Hold on. I, I I'm not even like take like. I keep mixing up my words today. Oh my gosh! I'm not even focused on this fight right now. I'm just like focused on the like the the DX story stuff. Do -do 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 -do. I just enjoy doing that in revolution. Okay, but right now I'm gonna use another codex so you can see the difference. Okay, so now I am using Magic YUV, and as you can see, I've put everything to the. I've put it vertical. You can have it all dual like I had it before, or you can do it like this, or you could even have them all to the right. Uh. GPU again. Ooh! Miss me there, buddy. Okay, I believe it's much better the other way. Yeah, dual is the way to go. I just want to finish this fight quickly, because I'm not even like... Ow, oh, that hurt you now. Is it done? Nope. Okay, good. Alright, so what else is there that I can show you guys? Uh, oh. To continue my journey, don't ever get in my way again. But as you can see, with Magic YUV, the bitrate is mainly around 28, almost to 30. And this is recording at 1080p 30. And just so you know, just so you know, this isn't the actual size of it. I've made it larger. It can be... Let me see if I can do it while the yeah. This is this is a, the regular size of it you would see in 1080. I put it 2x so it's much more clearer even though it's a bit blurrier. This is the largest and I I personally don't like that. So there's vertical which is this. There's a dual. It's horizontal or it's like all on one line which is pretty neat. There's vertical reverse. Uh okay I see I haven't done these before. It's upside down. Uh yeah so it would wait what. Wait, oh, is this reverse? Wait, video FPS bitrate recording. This isn't reverse. Like, what? Nothing changed. <laughs> what? Okay, that, yeah, this and this are the exact same thing. I mean, you can't tell because you're not seeing the entire screen, but that, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to try uh, the lagger of codec, and that's going to be at the end of the video, basically. Okay, so this would be the lagger of codec and uh, 1080p, 30 FPS, GPU again. It's usually when it's loading, it's, it, it's, it says that. The Besides that, it doesn't begins. show any bottlenecks up. Right 
I'm fading so bad right now, but it's got him all focused on, you know, on what's going on at the top left of my screen. Well, he just, he just went out the map. He just went out the map, man. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, almost a, a, like, almost a minute, and it's now over a gig. I mean, this is very useful, man. I mean, of course, it doesn't have to be in the video. I'm just, I just left it there so you guys can, whoa, so you guys can see. But I, I could be looking at this and like it wouldn't. Just touchy. I made a mistake there. It wouldn't be getting in your way, you know. I, I do want to try this in other games. I tried it with Mortal Kombat earlier, but because that's that that's like recording like 60 FPS instead of 30, you know. Ah, and you can really see like it's very it's very good for benchmarking. You can like see like the fr how the frame rate how the frame rates and same frame weights affect your drive and whatnot. You know, so you can always tell what's bottlenecking you when you want to record a new game, which I find amazing. This update was supposed to also include, I believe, some some kind of support for the the Universal Windows. That farm, I, something like that. The games from the Windows Store, like Quantum Break and that stuff. I, I didn't, I didn't play that game by the way. If I did, I don't know if I'd be able to run it. You're making me look like a button masher, Itachi. So yeah, now going on two minutes, and the Lagerf codec is at three and a half gigs. Tachi can run, I must say. And that's it. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find other games to, to do this with. I'll bear all the hatred but this on my own. new DX3 version 2.0, sorry, 2.0.134, yeah, came out today, the, 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 the 8th of April 2016. And yeah, that's basically it. I mean, you can, of course, you can always change the colors and whatnot. I was looking for a bright color to make for this video because it was tough trying to find a good one. Jeez. Uh, can I even change it while I'm recording? Would that work? Wow, I can! Wow. <laughs> that would look terrible, wouldn't it? Yep, you can hardly see it. Okay, I'm gonna... Lavender blush, whatever that is. Nice and bright. Looks kind of pink. But that is basically it. Uh, wait, can I change this while... No, I cannot... Okay, so you see this is the horizontal alignment, but there's not much change in, not much change there, is there? No, there's not. It's just moving a bit. That doesn't make much sense at all. Oh gosh, no, that's terrible. All right, guys, so that was basically it. The new version of the X story it is awesome. If you've bought it, well, the only way you can, the only way you can use it is, is it, the only way you can use it is if you've bought it, or you've got a very good friend that will be willing to give you a code. Good luck at that. But alright guys, that's all for now, so ciao.